Before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that the new merch is out right now. I will be leaving a link inside the description as well as the comment section letting you guys know about all the new drip. I've decided in order for us to evolve as a unit, I had to switch up the merch. So no more just looking at the old iPod King Carter symbols and stuff like that. I'm actually gonna be dropping merch where when you see it or see somebody wearing it, you won't think, oh, that's such and such merch. I'm actually gonna be making merch that you will actually buy in like a department store. So right now, I got the Press Start t-shirts on deck. Make sure you guys click the link. I also have more designs there. I don't feel like grabbing the t-shirts and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it up to you guys to go ahead and click that link. Let's hop into the video. Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I have been getting so many messages, comments, stream comments. People have been asking me, bro, Please tell me what your big build is and today I got that video just for y'all. Now that we're here in the video, I wanna make sure that I don't leave anything unsaid. I'm gonna give you guys my build, the badges, the jump shot, the animations, everything that you're gonna need to dominate with this build right here. And the reason why I say that this is the best build in the game is because we all know that we're all trying to grind 2K, figure out ways to beat 2K, figure out ways to beat other people. And I can tell you guys, verbatim right now that this build can play defense it can dunk catch alley-oops it can shoot it can do everything it's a across the board build that hopefully 2k don't patch now with this first shot i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how my jump shot get it down that was slightly late i do green those but look at where i'm standing Let's get into the build. All right guys, some quick vitals real quick before we get into the attribute part of this video. You wanna make sure that you choose center. Please, for the love of me, do not pick power forward. Never make a power forward. Power forwards, just they just don't cut it for this build. Make sure you pick a center. Make sure you pick the physical profile where he has a lot of strength, pretty good speed and acceleration and an okay vertical because the vertical really won't matter when you're catching lobs but make sure he's strong so that he won't get babied in the paint all right now the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the pie you are choosing is shooting and defense and please for the love of me do not pick the all shooting pie do not pick the all defensive pie because that's not the right pie you hear me? You want, you want to mix a little bit of apple with a little bit of cherry, okay? You feel me? Now check it out. As far as the finishing attributes go, you want to make sure that all the attributes here are exactly like this. Please, please, please make sure this is exactly like this. Now, the reason why I say this is, this is before I go in and change my height, okay? I'm going to change my height. I'm gonna change my weight and I'm gonna change my wingspan. But you wanna make sure you have at least eight finishing, at least 17 shooting. We don't worry about playmaking over here. All you really need is quick first step anyway. And please make sure you have at least 21 defensive badges. If your badge upgrades don't look like this and your attribute upgrades don't look like this before you change the height, wingspan, and weight, you're doing it wrong, okay? Now listen, we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. For every build that I make, I want to make sure that I go for defined anyway, solely because all of my builds will not have a shirt and they won't be like really, really tattooed, all black like that. Now, you can do it, go ahead and do whatever you want, but make sure you go 6'11. Now, check this out my build is 6'11. Haven't changed the weight, haven't changed the wingspan. I have a 72 max three point shot, all right? We're going to go ahead and continue. We're going to max the weight. You want to know what? Well, not max it. But you want to go 285 because you don't want your acceleration to go too below. And you want to make sure you got at least a 95 strength. Now, my driving dunk did go down, but that's okay. It only went down one. But my interior defense just went up to a 90. You feel me? Now, check this out. Wingspan. You can go. Some people do 87, but it really don't matter. Because who's shooting middies nowadays, right? So you want to make sure that you have an 88 wingspan, okay? Make, please make sure it is 88, okay? Please make sure. Now, when you go ahead and choose your takeover, a lot of people want to go and choose a spot-up shooter takeover. Oh, my God. I got my takeover. I'm going to be getting all these shots. No. You're a center. 
Get your behind in the paint where you belong. I chose the defensive takeover, and the reason for this is, when I show you my badges, you're gonna understand why I chose the defensive path. You can go glass cleaner, but I'm gonna let you know this right now. You are a shooting big that can defend. You are not supposed to be down there trying to box everybody and their mom out, grabbing rebounds, thinking you can outhorse 7-3, max wingspan, max weight players, okay? This is a supplemental build, great for twos, great to play to four in rec, and can carry a little bit on threes depending if they don't have a crazy big at hand. So once you do that, you can go ahead and create the whole build. You know what I'm saying? It tells you that you play Stop like playing. all these weird people, but honestly, we're not worried about that. We're going to go ahead and return to the main menu. I'm going to go ahead and load up my build, show you all the badges, and then hop into the animations. Let's get into it. All right, guys. First things first. We got to hop into progression. I got to show you guys my stats. This is a 99 overall build, and I'm going to also let you know one thing. If you do not play like a 99 overall every single game with this build, you are doing something wrong. Okay, I play like a 99.1 to a 99.9 every single game. Okay, let's go ahead and hop into progression. These are my attributes. Remember, I told you, I get a 76 shot when you hit 99 because when you hit 95, you get plus one to every attribute across the board until you get to 99, all right? So I max out at a 76 three-point shot. When I have somebody on the floor with Floor General on Hall of Fame, my three-pointer goes to an 80. I have a 52 to 55% chance from Limitless, all right? If you don't know what Limitless is, that's what Range Extender is for now, all right? You know what I'm saying? If you brought this game on Black Friday, this video is perfect for you. But check it out, man. Across the board, shooting is phenomenal. Driving, layup, and dunk, not too crazy, but when you think about it, my driving dunk goes up four points as well when somebody is on the floor with Floor General, all right? So check it. Let's back out of that. Let's show you the badges. The badges are the most important thing about this entire build. If you do not have these badges, you're losing. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. Now, I do run twos with Raunchy a lot. Me and Raunchy argue all day long on twos, but we get the job done. If you have this build, do not cheat yourself. You will need Lob City Finisher on gold. There's no getting around it. I don't care about fancy footwork. I don't care about slithery finisher. You will need Lob City finisher on gold, period, point blank. Contact finisher, get it on gold. Simply because sometimes on twos, there are those games where you get a point guard or you get a smaller big and you can go ahead and get crazy in the paint. But not so often. Don't think that you can just be a god in the paint just because you got gold contact finisher. Honestly, gold contact finisher will help with Lob City finisher as well. In Relentless, you already know. I got it on silver because I don't have nine finishing badges. But Relentless helps me not lose stamina when I continuously keep trying to catch lobs in the paint. All right? Now, next set of badges. I'm gonna, I'm, we're not gonna get into shooting yet. I'm gonna save shooting for last. Playmaking. All you need is quick first step. Unpluckable, useless. Break starter, I don't run wreck with this build a lot. We on twos with it, you feel me? Now, defensive badges. This build is a mirror almost to what Anthony Davis is in my career. If anybody has ever played against LA in my career on Hall of Fame, you know how disruptive Anthony Davis is when he's in a game. I got gold box, I got gold heart crusher, gold intimidator, gold post move lockdown, and gold rim protector. That's all from Anthony Davis. If you want to keep making your build more like Anthony Davis, you can go with gold chase down artists. You can go with uh, probably gold off ball pest or gold worm or gold moving truck. You know what I mean? If you want to make your build a little bit more after Anthony Davis. but. The reason I have Interceptor and Rebound Chaser on goal is because a lot of people make stupid mistakes by making passes they shouldn't be making, so I gotta have that Interceptor on goal. My wingspan ain't that long, so I gotta make sure I'm doing things to make sure I get better steals. Also, Rebound Chaser, sometimes you might have that guy boxed out, but if he got Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser and you don't have it at all, 
he gonna get that rebound because he's 7'3 with Max Wingspan. You see how I'm reaching out to you right now? And I can't touch you? He done got you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, let's go ahead and confirm that. Last but not least, my shooting badges, all right? I know a lot of people are probably gonna say, bro, I've never seen shooting badges look like this. What is this dude doing? Now, I watch a lot of NBA 2K Lab. I'm on their website frequently. I don't got the premium membership, but I know somebody that got one. Catch and shoot, all you needed is on bronze. Corner specialist, all you needed is on bronze. I am a shooting big in the corner. If my guard is slashing and can't get open with his ISO, I'm for damn sure going to be open and I make sure that I put volume shooter on because we're going to be taking a ton of shots. Now, some people will say, why don't you put hot zone hunter and grand machine on Hall of Fame? Sometimes you're just overdoing it, guys. I get quick draw on Hall of Fame because I know for a fact that if I don't get this shot up quick enough, it's always going to get contested. And we know that from the beginning of the game. When bigs came to the park that could shoot like stretches, they couldn't make any shots because every shot was contested. So I got Hall of Fame quick draw to make sure that contest don't even count. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even going to be able to run up to me. The ball already going to be in the air. I'm going to be doing my green animation and you're going to be sick. Range extender. When you guys see me hit that limitless shot in the beginning of this video, that's why. Range extender allows me to get a 50% chance from limitless instead of a 36% chance. If you don't have range extender maxed out, your percentages will just drop. You know what I mean? It will, it will not help your likeliness to hit those shots from long range, no matter if it's a midi or a three. Hot zone hunter. One of the favorite badges in the beginning of this game because everybody got their hot zones early. I bumped this down from Hall of Fame because some spots on the court, I don't have that hot zone yet because of 2K's new 25 game revolving window of when hot zone 100 would kick in, where you get your hot spots and all of that jazz. Green Machine, literally one of the best badges in the game. NBA 2K Lab says that it takes three shots in order for this to kick in, I notice it after two shots with gold, okay? Not sure how Hall of Fame works. Not gonna test it out anymore. This is perfect for me. I hit all of my shots. When I'm streaming on Facebook, which you need to make sure that you guys follow me there. Link will be in the description and comment section. When I'm streaming and I'm, I'm standing limitless and people don't wanna guard me, Hall of Fame Dimer on the way and somebody got Hall of Fame Floor General on the floor. I'm hitting that shot. I put a matter of fact, I put a clip up on um, Twitter of me shooting from Puma Mania from the logo from almost half court in the threes game and greening it for the win. Yeah, it's like that. Let's go ahead and hop into the animations for this build because I know without a great jump shot, everything else falls. So let's go ahead and hop into the animations, y'all. All right, guys, as far as my animations go, I keep it pretty simple. My jump shot is called Why Not? Because when I made it, I said, ah, why not? I'm going to show you guys my jump shot. That's going to be the last part of this video. But free throws, when I'm at the wreck, Michael Jordan, bar none, hands down, best free throw you can have. Dribble pull-ups, if you don't have athletic six, what we talking about? Get it now. Spin jumpers not worried about. Hop jumpers, normal 14, is very spacious. But what I would actually do is use that hop step to stop and pop. Like, use the hop jumper 14, which it looks like this. Get that space and stop. Get that space. Most bigs can't follow you there. Most bigs are gonna see that hop jump and be like, oh my God, and you can pull up. Now, honestly, I can hit those while still moving. So don't disrespect me as, as well. Um, post phase, don't worry about it. Post hooks, don't worry about it. Because post phase and post hooks are cheesy. A lot of people make them when they shouldn't make them. But we already know that. All right, now, as far as dribbles go, y'all know what time it is. I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing crazy. Normal seven, triple threat style. That's how it go. Now, layups. I can only get default big. Even though I'm a 99, that, that's it. That's all I get. Dunks. Make sure quick drops off one. Don't get no other dunks, y'all. Don't get no other dunks. That's all you need. Look at the player. Look at the acceleration that he gets to the rim. This is the only dunk package you need. You fly past people. It makes you so much faster than you actually are. All right? Make sure you get this dunk package. The only one you really need. 
under the basket ones you can go ahead and go crazy with these baseline reverses i like those as well because i'm a taller player and they hit um now another thing uh as far as my jump shot landing i used to have fireworks um this is what fireworks looks like i used to have that but the animation takes too long so when we're playing matches where it's like a pro 3v3 at the park, if you green it and do this animation, somebody can grab the ball, throw the rebound, and then, you know what I mean, somebody else will get a three right back. This one right here, real simple. That walk off, you can cancel it. Like you can, you can shoot it, land, and then as soon as he takes his first step behind, you can cancel it and run to the paint. As far as my 2K card goes, uh, I wanted to show you guys this. I think I show you guys this almost every video, um, just to let you guys know. So we don't worry about the NBA because that's my career, of course. I have an 83.7 win percentage at the park. I play 600 games, so I am now above the 500 game mark, which gives me a little bit more entitlement to my actual win percentage, which is cool. I have 82 win percentage at the rec, which should be good, but I only have 110 games played. I should have a higher win percentage, but you know the sell it. You know when they lag you out or kick you and stuff like that. That always happens. But for the last portion of this video, we're going to hop into my jump shot. All right, guys. So check it out. I only have two jump shots right now. My jump shot that I love and a secondary jump shot that NBA 2K Labs told me to try out. This one for NBA 2K Park. This is an NBA 2K Labs jump shot. I'm going to show it to you guys real quick, but I will not advise you to use this jump shot only if you think you can can rock with it i can't rock with it jump shot 85 the only uppers i use is steph curry so whenever you see me shoot just know it's steph curry uppers every single time i'm not changing my uppers all right at all now another thing i might try is i might try using steph curry's jump shot just his actual jump shot from the store for like five games if i green with that john go crazy I might keep it on for a little bit, but let's hop into my favorite jumper, dog. You will be surprised. I got Kemba Walker on. Kemba Walker is literally one of the best bases in the game for bigs. Now, remember I told you guys about uh, Hall of Fame quick draw and stuff like that? If you take those type of badges like quick draw off, your player does a weird gather with his feet every single time that he shoots. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if we go and try out any other base right here, right? So let's try uh, base 11 real quick. See that right there? You see that gather with his feet? Remember how uh, base 11 used to be one of the best bases in the game last year? It's not one of the best bases anymore because of that gather. But if you have quick, uh, quick draw on Hall of Fame, that gather won't look that crazy. You'll actually pull up a lot faster with that gather. Another gather I hate. This is one of the best gathers right here. See that right there? Jump shot 36, that gather isn't that crazy, all right? That gather's not that crazy. I was using that, that gather with my guard. You see how my feet spot up instantly? Like, it kind of like glide to the, to the jump shot. It glides to the jump shot. I was using that with my point guard, and I was using that to shoot over a lot of people. And the, the rainbow effect from Curry shot with that base was insane. Best jump shot for a shooting big right now, Kemba Walker, Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry. And I know a lot of people, like a lot of purists of 2K will say inside the comment section, Bro, why do you have 50-50% uh, when it doesn't matter? You can just put it on 100 and zero and it'll still be the same jump shot. I do that because I'm dramatic, <laughs> okay? I do what I want. I put it at 50-50 because I like just putting it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you guys hit that like button if you made it all the way to the end of the video. The goal for this video is 3,000 likes. The likes really help the YouTube algorithm and without the YouTube algorithm and you guys showing your support and hitting that like button, the videos won't go crazy. They won't go in recommended. They won't go in trending. So I need you guys to show me some love. All right. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Don't forget merch link in the description and the uh, comment section. I'm going to see you on the next one, man. Peace.